Hello, weird and wonderful interwebs. It is I, David King, and of the least fit nerds here with a very late burn and learn. Um, uh, a burn and learn, by the way, is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, who's being very quiet for me right now because he's trying to game, and to enjoy the coming twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane, who just made the most delicious dinner. Uh, I hate exercise. It's boring. So I like to learn something while I'm doing it. I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest, most miserable, self-indulgent way possible. Sometimes it's even live. Not today, because it just wasn't any time in the day for it. Um, so, um, yeah, I did, uh, I did a very short, uh, well, for me, a very short, um, little exercise today. I got 40 minutes in at the intense level seven. I'm competing with my 3D printer over here, which is continuing to print out little masks, little shield, face shields for our local hospital. I got a whole bag of them now, getting ready to go to, uh, to, to uh, Michael Guerin, and, um, kind of excited about that. And, um... Yeah, so 40 minutes today, I spent it watching uh, a, another very cool teacher instructional um, webinar by Tinkercad about um, how to basically create a makerspace-like educational environment using, you know, Tinkerspace, uh, Tinkercad, and, uh, and, you know, some of the sort of the more uh, sort of project-based ways to teach kids and get them excited about stuff. And um, so there are a couple of sort of different, like, charter schools and stuff that we're talking and, um, and makerspace approaches to uh, incorporating in general uh, education stuff. So very, very cool stuff. And then today, because the reason why I didn't actually end up doing the burn and learn right after my exercise, like didn't record this right after my exercise, was because I spent the afternoon talking to my friend DSTAT about his job in this careers thing that was inspired by Let's Talk Science. So Let's Talk Science has this really cool resource where you could look up careers based on sort of different criteria and stuff so kids can figure out the things that they like and then figure out and then find out what jobs there are that are available for that kind of stuff so um so they know what they want to be when they grow up um so great chat with dstat about that he's going to set up some server stuff for us so that we've got a special um minecraft server where we can build things that relate to the career things on so kind of like uh the way James Gurney, who uh, who we seem to have lost to Mike, to mine, Minecraft now, he seems to be loving the the, uh, the server. He uh, built a sort of a giant phage, which is a virus that attacks uh, bacteria, and then a giant bacteria. Uh, and it'd be just thought that'd be kind of uh, fun to have like a world where we could showcase that stuff for people. Um, had a great chat with um, one of our doctors on the front lines, uh, kid. So she's off working at the hospital, and and I'm just doing. Uh, I mean. I can't believe she does it. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. So I wanted in some way, shape, or form to help. Um, part of it is, is 3D printing these things. Um, the other thing is I thought uh, maybe I could uh, uh, give her kid a little a little tech bandit session. So so we, I came in all guns blazing, ready to do this Tinkercad stuff with him. And we talked about that for a little while, but then it became very apparent very quickly that he's into the PC side of stuff. So that was great. We had like an hour and a half play date just discussing PC components and what could be built and how he could use this motherboard that he has. And we looked up all the parts of the motherboard and that was really fun, really, really fun. So, um, so yeah, so just feel like tiny, useless little ways of, of hopefully helping out a bit. I gotta figure out how to get my dad some more food because they're not allowed to leave the house now because they're over 70. So, uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, now I better get to going before, um, cause I'm sure Baz has lots of screaming and shouting to do with his friend while he finishes up on this little Minecraft, uh, what are you using? What's the, uh, what's the mod? Enigmatica 2, and oh my gosh, it is, there's too much stuff in there for me. Too enigmatic for me. Anyway, so until we get again, sweaty or not, cheerio! Be safe, peeps.